turn this shit up? Perhaps you have more feeling down in this area. Oh, fuck me in the ass! <laughs> yeah, thanks for reminding me. Sorry, your call could not be completed as dialed. Oh, that sounded just like the recording, buddy! Woo! Then my damn growth spurt. 17 inches in 18 months. That, of course, put an end to my competitive career. Your boyfriend or husband or whatever is just a lucky man to find someone so talented at ass play. It's good on him. I'm not gay. Would you like some glass sprinkles? Oh, come on. You, if you put that thing in my ass, you're gay. I mean, it's cool. Uh, you're in a safe room. <laughs> the only one getting fucked here is you. Yeah, yeah. But are you going to enjoy doing it? Every last inch of it. Well, yeah, well, that's a gay thing. That's, it's not gay. It's torture. No. That is different. Taking my fingernails off or fucking making me stay awake for 12 weeks is torture, but greasing up a dildo and pretending it's your own dick and wanting to stick it in me, that's homosexuality. Textbook. Are you afraid to tell your parents? Is that it? You know what? I'm looking forward to this, and I'm not letting you take it away from me with your fucking mind games. Good. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Look out teeth, look out gums, look out keister, here it comes. Oh my God. Hello, Mr. Hey, Simmons. Doctor, good to see you. How are you? I brought my friend, Hi. this is my, well, my lover, my life partner, my everything. <laughs> How are you? What's going on? How are we doing? Well, your immune system is in the middle of a very serious battle. The medicine is trying to combat the disease, but in the process, it destroys healthy tissue and disrupts healthy functioning of your organs and multiple lymphatic systems. So you're getting attacked on two levels. And we hope the disease is vanquished before it and the medicine does damage which cannot be contained. Okay. Your accent's very thick. You ever notice your accent makes things sound worse than they they actually are. You could give good news and I'd still be like, what happened? Am I I'm still dying? I'm just trying to help you. I know you sound like a regular Joe where you come from, but here I keep thinking you're going to be torturing James Bond later. I'm sure your sense of humor will serve you well in this situation. There he goes again. All so terrifying because it came out of your mouth. You are a very funny man. Are you mad that you died at the end of Die Hard? I don't understand the reference. Kind of looks like those two guys in the second Matrix movie. <laughs> I assure you I was not in the Matrix. Why did he be on board? What did he do to you? If you have no other questions, I do have other patients. You have other patients that you have to frighten by the end of the day? How many patients do you frighten a day? And I'm slowly getting a little bit uh, annoyed by this humorous uh, activities from from you guys yeah. so i think you we have discussed this and i'm very very sympathetic to your uh, recovery and i hope we will succeed with what we're doing i've been trying to build this cabinet i bought from you guys <laughs> for like six months <laughs> I got ikea that's very funny Jesus, every time i'm near you i feel like fucking danny devito <laughs> everybody feels like danny devito when they you know yeah. walk by. you're a giant uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, I don't want to get your hopes up. Mm -hmm. We put you on this experimental medication without much optimism. About 8% of all the people that we put on this medication get positive results. Mm -hmm. You actually belong to these 8%. I looked through your blood work and I couldn't find any traces of the disease. I don't want to speak too soon, but we may have beaten this thing. Are you fucking with me? Because I fucked with you? So, that's the good news, Mr. Bond. <laughs> uh, so this is, this is, this is good news. Like my accent now? Now I like your accent, oh. yeah. I was excited all morning to tell you this news. So what happens now? What, what, do I, what do I do now? Maybe you can make another funny movie that I could laugh about. Yeah. Can you explain the philosophy behind your music? Our philosophy 
is to expose the lies of the Christian horse and Jesus, the true bringer of death. <laughs> we are not the crying sheep of God. We are the mighty goat. Why the goat? Why not the pig? According to Mr. Chow's menu, I was born in the year of the pig. Ah, good low main. Hey, homa. <laughs> the goat has free will. And for that reason, he will always be punished by the oppressor God. Praise Jesus! God must die. God is the unholy pig. We serve the butcher. Okay. <laughs> Try something else. I just need to figure out the right combination of people from his life to use. He calls this alley a lot. I can't believe something luck in the intersect. You've got to dig it out. I can sell the secrets in his head for more money than you can ever imagine. Telling me again isn't going to make this go any faster. Agent Carmichael's brain will access the intersect if it's properly motivated. It was clear from his interrogation that anxiety is his strongest motivating emotion. God knows he is a neurotic man. When we find the right mix of people from his life to pressure him, he will become so anxious about not having the intersect that his brain will be forced to flash. But this woman, she will do most of the work. Nothing makes him more anxious than this Sarah Walker. I feel more enthusiasm walking down the streets of Stockholm, avoiding dog shit, than watching this actor. Steak, you've seen every actor in Sweden now. That's the problem. I need an American actor. You can't handle the truth. Who sent you here to torture me? Enough, please. Gunilla? That's just it. Enough. He is an American actor. Thank you, thank you. We let you know. Y okay. My dream is to make a Swedish body cop movie, 48 hours of daylight. <laughs> Isn't my dream important to you anymore, Monica? Listen, my friend Ebbe went on a date last night with an American actor, okay? Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Please, be serious. What would Eddie Murphy be doing in Sweden? Yeah, yeah. Very good, very, very good. It's nice. We yeah. let you know. It works better with uh, onion and uh, rain. Leave! 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 Please! 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 Leave! 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 Please! Leave! Thank you so much. It, it looks better with onion. What a draw! So too loose. You think we are kidding? Or making with the funny stuff? Yeah. Because you think you haven't dreamed of the boss. Yeah. We believe in nothing. We believe in nothing, Labowski, nothing. And tomorrow we come back and we cut off your Johnson. Excuse me? I said we cut off your Johnson! Just think about that, Labowski. Ah, you wiggle penis. Labowski? Maybe we stomp on it and to push it. Ja. Aufwachen, Arschloch. You can buy a pancake. Steve picks and blankets. For me, how can you be a cooking? Hey, She has lingonberry pancakes. Oh man, wenn ich da an Pfannkuchen in Bremen denke. Ja, ja, was ist damit? Das ist einfach besser, da ist richtige Butter dran. Nicht so ein scheiß hey, das schmeckt so ganz und kacke hier, Mann. Ja, yeah, it seems we have forgotten our little deal, Lebowski. There never was any money. The big Lebowski gave me an empty briefcase, so take it up with him, man. And I would like my undies, babe. This guy's gonna hurt us, Walter? No, Donnie. These men are cowards. Okay! So we take some money, you have fun, you, uh, we call Shadifa. <laughs> Fuck you. I fuck you! Walter, come on, he's got a Fucking sore thing, man. shit with a nine-toed woman. It I is he, man. Fuck you! Hit the four dollars! I fuck you! I fuck you in the ass! I fuck you! I fuck you! I fuck you! I fuck you! <laughs>